Um, so today we're going to look at another uh, problem in classical mechanics. So a uniform heavy chain of length A is partly sitting on a table, partly hanging over the edge. At t equals 0, a part B, which is less than A, hangs over the edge. The remaining part A minus B is called up at the edge of the table. So in the first question, we want to find the equation of motion for the amount of chain xt that's hanging over the edge. So to do this, it would maybe be useful to draw a, um, a sketch again of the situation. So we have this table, and there's a chain that's hanging. And so apologies for my bad drawing, but the amount B minus A is coiled. And this amount of chain B is hanging. So this is at T equals zero. So the first thing that we can say is that the force, so there's a force, M. Oh, and by the way, for the remainder of this problem, we're going to write something important down, is that we're going to take downwards as the positive x direction. Right, so we would have this is plus x. So this is why we wrote mg as opposed to the usual minus mg, which is what you would usually fa find in um, other problems. But the trick in this problem is to understand that the chain is uniform, right? The chain is a uniform chain. So there's a linear mass density, which we will call rho. And so the mass of chain hanging over the edge is rho x. Right, this is just, so this is mass per unit length. Right, so this is the amount of mass hanging over the edge. So that will, will be called, we'll call this mt. And so we know that the force that's acting on the chain is just the weight. So F will be m g. So it will be rho x g. But we also know another expression for force, which is that F is just dp by dt, so the derivative of momentum uh, with respect to time. And the momentum, p, is just m t v t, right? And so we can just write that P is rho x x dot. So x dot is the velocity. So therefore, dP by dt is just rho x dot squared plus rho x x double dot. Right. So I just use the the product rule to differentiate the momentum. So using this, we're able to find the equation of motion for x, which is actually dp by dt equals rho xg. So rho x x double dot plus rho x dot squared equals rho xg. So we can just divide everything by rho to make it um, a bit more simple. So x x double dot plus x dot squared equals xg. So this is the equation of motion for the amount of chain hanging over the edge. So now let's look at the second part of the question. So using the equation found in part a, show that the speed of the chain when the last link leaves the edge is given by this expression. So when we look at this equation, so that we'll call this one star, when we look at the equation star, we see that it's quite tricky to solve. There's no, I mean, I can't think of any way to solve this equation 
uh, analytically I don't know a method for solving these equations so there's a trick that we can use which is quite clever it's to write the x dot equals v and then get an equation of motion for v of x rather than for x of t because we're just asked to find the speed of the chain as it leaves the edge so we're asked to find v of a so v of x equals a so if we write this our equation becomes x dv by dt plus v squared equals xg but what we can also write is use the chain rule to say that dv by dt is just dv by dx dx by dt so this is just using the chain rule to rewrite dv by dt and dx by dt is just v so basically our differential equation becomes x v dv by dx plus v squared equals xg so now let's divide by this entire equation by xv to obtain it in the more simple form so we just see that dv by dx equals v sorry dv by dx plus v over x equals g over v and some of you might recognize this form of equation as Bernoulli's equation so let me write that down So this is Bernoulli's equation, not the one for fluid dynamics. This is the the equation, so Bernoulli's differential equation. And Bernoulli's differential equation takes the form v primed of x plus v f of x equals g of x times v to the alpha. And this equation can be solved by u making a substitution. u equals v to the 1 minus alpha. And so in our case, f of x equals 1 over x. g of x is just g, the constant. And alpha is minus 1. So if we make the substitution, u equals v to the 1 minus minus 1 we get that u equals v squared so if if u equals v squared then v is just plus or minus root u but remember v is a velocity so we we want v to be positive so sorry v is the speed which is the magnitude of the vector so we want v to be positive so we have that v equals plus minus root u, so we just say that v equals root u. And now we want to find an expression for dv by dx. So dv by dx is just d by dx of square root of u. And if we use the chain rule, this is just du by dx times 1 over 2 square root of u. So I'm just using this, the, the, the chain rule to find this expression. So now if we replace uh, v with u and dv by dx by du by dx in our, in our equation, we will find that 1 over 2 root u du by dx plus v over x will just become root u over x equals g over v so that will just become g over root u and we see that we can multiply everything out by square root of u 
and that will basically get rid of this term, right? So that will just give us half du by dx plus u over x equals g. And now let's just multiply by by 2 to get rid of, of the 1 half. So du by dx equals, sorry, du by dx plus 2u over x equals 2g. And we see that this equation can be solved using the integrating factor method because we have u primed of x plus f of x u equals g of x. So our integrating factor will just be mu equals e to the integral of 2 over x dx, right? This is our integrating factor that we'll use to solve this, this equation. So mu is equal, so integral of 2 over x dx is just e to the 2 log of x. So that just becomes x squared, right? Because 2 log of x is just log of x squared. So our equation should now be multiplied. So now we multiply both sides by the integrating factor. So we have that du by dx plus 2ux equals, sorry, I made a mistake. So it should be du by dx plus 2u over x, all multiplied by x squared equals 2g x squared. And we see that this expression can just be written as an integral. So if, if we evaluate this integral, we just get that u times x squared is 2 thirds of g x cubed plus some constant, right? We, we sh can't forget this constant because we're doing an indefinite integral and this constant will depend on the initial conditions. So now let's get the explicit expression for u. So this implies that u of x is 2 thirds gx plus c over x squared. So I just divided by x squared. And now recall that u equals v squared, so v equals plus root u. Therefore, v of x is 2 thirds gx plus c over x squared in this big square root. <coughs> so now to find c, we have to use the initial conditions, right? So if we look back at our sketch, we see that at sorry, not our sketch, at the question, that at t equals 0, a part b is hanging over the edge. So we're assuming that there's no initial velocity. So what we want is v of b equals 0. So v of b equals 0 means that 2 thirds gb plus c over b squared equals 0. So if we if we just multiply this by b squared, we can find that c is just minus 2 thirds times g b cubed. So therefore, v of x can be written as 2 thirds over g x cubed minus b cubed over x squared, all in this big square root. And now, all we have to do to find the uh, velocity when the last link leaves the edge is just compute v of a. And so v of a is just 
2 over 3a squared g a cubed minus b cubed under root and that is exactly what we were asked to find in the problem so this is the final answer